I got a request to do a video on myofibrillar versus sarcoplasmic muscle hypertrophy, which, like a teenager's face, isn't as clear as it used to be. In another video, I covered how some muscles get bigger, like those of bodybuilders, due to more sarcoplasm or water inside the muscle fibers. This is called sarcoplasmic hypertrophy, while other muscles, like those of powerlifters, go through myofibrillar hypertrophy due to having more myofibrils or bundles of contractile protein that cause the muscle to contract and generate tension or strength. Interesting, given the same size of the muscle, myofibrillar hypertrophy produces more more tension than sarcoplasmic hypertrophy because rather more sarcoplasm or water more contractile proteins are added but here's the first messy part there's also myofibrillar packing hypertrophy with not more myofibrils but more protein per myofibril the different types of hypertrophy are due to genetics but also the type of training routine for example programs with high to moderate resistance and low volumes of training produce myofibrillar and possibly myofibrillar packing hypertrophy while sarcoplasmic hypertrophy comes from training at a moderate resistance and high volume while some people People think that they are three separate types of hypertrophy. There are theories that they may represent different phases of the entire hypertrophy process. One theory states that sarcoplasmic hypertrophy occurs first, making room or space for more myofibrils to be added later. Another theory is myofibrillar packing hypertrophy occurs first, forcing the muscle fibers to expand, including more sarcoplasm that triggers the production of new nuclei and more myofibrils. Unfortunately, it's unrealistic at this point for researchers to take muscle samples frequently enough to know if these phases exist. So there's a lot left to learn about the different types or phases of muscle hypertrophy. Either way, we know they're influenced by the type of resistance training done in eating greasy foods. Oh wait, that's zits, but it's not. As always, my answers come from peer-reviewed research.